honey. Say good morning. Say every time my mom starts to talk, I start to talk. Look at your cute face. Okay. Let me do my talking then, girl. Good morning and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day 10. And the first thing on the agenda this morning is finishing up those black bean burgers that I was experimenting with a little bit, actually yesterday morning. <laughs> I never got back around to making those burgers the other day, so I just put everything in the fridge and we're gonna do that today for breakfast. So this is the mixture I made up the other day. It's a combination of Spanish rice, fajita vegetables, black beans, and mashed sweet potato. And I did have a tiny bit of sweet potato also left over, but I don't think I'm going to need that for my burgers. I think what I need to add to this is more beans. I unthawed all these black beans, but I only added one cup to my burgers. And when I actually ate them the other day, I thought these definitely need more beans. <laughs> I like this ratio of black beans to the other vegetables. So I'm going to experiment with one burger like this. And I may end up adding some more black beans because I feel like it could handle them, but let's check it out. Just my one little burger. I'm gonna cook him at 375 for about eight minutes and then I should be able to flip it and do like another six or seven minutes. We'll see if this sticks or if it's easy to flip. I might also try to dust a little bit of flour onto my burgers to help them with that flipping and not sticking, getting a little crispy. So let's get this first one cooking. Eight minutes, let's see if it is better flipping than it was the other day. Sticking a little bit, should I, ugh. I'm gonna give it like three more minutes and then I'm gonna try to flip it. And I just ran my recycling out and it is raining outside today. So, got a couple errands I wanna get done this afternoon. I guess at least it's still like over 50 degrees, so can't complain about a little rain. Okay, three minutes later. Yeah, much better. Oop, it broke, oh no. Okay, it's falling apart a tiny bit. Still. Experiment is going well. I think maybe like another five or so minutes. When I just did that additional three minutes, I also changed the setting on my Ninja, which now I'm thinking I should have started with. So first I did the bake function at 375 for eight minutes. Then when I did those extra three minutes, I changed it to the sear crisp. And I think that's what got it looking so crisp on the bottom. So we'll try this for that five minutes. Five minutes later, oh my gosh, look, it just slides. Perfect, so I think that sear crisp option is the correct option. Oh, I could have even done it a little bit longer. It didn't get so like crispy on this side. I want to experiment with another burger and only do the sear crisp function because I think that's the way to go. And then I don't need to worry about like any sort of flour coating on the burgers to stop them from sticking or anything like that. The simpler it can be, the more likely I am to cook and eat for myself. That's, that's what I'm all about, simple. All right, burger number two. Pan is very hot. Seems pretty thick. So five minutes on sear crisp didn't get it totally crispy. So I think I'm gonna do seven minutes on sear crisp at 375 and then flip it. I think this is the winning combination. Oh yeah. Give her a flip. 
that might look a little extra crispy to some. To me, that looks perfect. Shh. You had your breakfast. It's not time for lunch. I'm just gonna do five minutes on the second side of my burger and while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna start putting together, do I wanna make guacamole or would just avocado be good? I guess let's see what it looks like. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is perfection. I don't think I need guacamole. I think I'm just gonna do some of this on my burger. I don't have buns, but I have some Dave's Killer Bread. I'm gonna put a couple of slices of this to toast after my burger's done. And five minutes later, definitely not as crispy as that first side got. So this is burger number one, and it totally crumbled when I flipped it. Maybe I was a little aggressive putting it on the plate. There's burger number two, looking much better. And there's the other side of it where I sear crisped it for seven minutes and I think I could have done five and still gotten that like nice crispiness that I was going for. We'll try that next time I cook a black bean burger, maybe for dinner. So let's sample the crumbly one with some avocado, oh, yum. I haven't had avocado in a while. That is so good. Definitely needs a little sriracha. OMG, this is amazing. Perhaps the best thing I have cooked all month. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I am in heaven. <laughs> I am incredibly proud of this creation. When did I become such a good cook? I feel like everything I have been making lately has been so good. I am so happy with this black bean burger mixture. So delicious, great ratio of all the vegetables. So what do I do with the rest of this? I probably could make two more burgers or I could make some black bean nuggets. I could also experiment with adding the rest of these black beans into this and making my black bean nuggets. I also steamed a bunch of broccoli for breakfast and that's all the broccoli I had left. And I still have a few meals of those like rice and vegetable combinations that I made when I meal prepped a few days ago. So definitely we'll be eating good today. And I got a couple errands I wanna run, wanna take a shower and all that stuff. So hopefully something fun will transpire today and I will check in later. What a dreary day. Huh, Ted? Say what a dreary day. Are you going to stay outside? No. <laughs> Are you going to go look outside, Penny? Go look outside. It's it's not that cold. It's refreshing. <sighs> Isn't it refreshing? How do you know when I hit the record button? It's ex is it because I reach and then and then you're like meow. <laughs> so I did get myself ready for the day, but I think I'm going to procrastinate those errands I mentioned until tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be 65 and sunny out, so I think that's going to be a good day to do some errands. Yep, pretty boring. I think the most excitement I'm going to have is when I make my black bean burgers again for dinner in a little bit here. Black bean burgers take two, or is this take three by now? Who knows? 
Ninja is preheated to 325. I'm gonna do that sear heat function for five minutes. And then when I flip it, I'm gonna add some of those tempeh slices. And I think that's gonna serve as sort of like a little bit of a bacon for my black bean burger. Remember when I said something about like club sandwich? Like that's where my brain was going, tempeh bacon. All right, five minutes and gonna flip. And I tried to make that patty big enough to fit my bread. That's why it looked so big and square. Let's see if it'll flip. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do a couple more minutes. I don't feel like it's firm enough. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, gonna give it a couple more minutes. But I will get some tempeh going too. <laughs> Flipping the burger wasn't fun, but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. My tempeh bacon got crispy, could be crispier, but let's try a bite of that. Delish does not need to be crispier. There's my toast. But I had an idea. What if I laid down some of the tempeh bacon strips and put the black bean burger right on top of it? Then it would be so easy to flip and I'd already have my tempeh bacon right on top of the burger. This is all that's left of that first avocado, so I'm going to cut my second one. Gorgeous. I wish I had some tomato. That would make this so perfect. How good does this look? OMG, can't wait to try a bite. It is a little bit dry. It needs some lettuce and tomato, cucumber too. I'm out of salsa, but I do have this, so maybe a little of this on the side. Oh yeah, that does the trick. But next time I definitely need lettuce and tomato. So I'll be back again soon with Vlogmas Day 11, and until then, be well.